Hello, it's Professor Fiore, and in this sequence of videos, we're going to be looking at the Python programming language. Sort of a gentle introduction, if you will. This is not going to be an exhaustive sequence of videos that's going to cover everything. Just enough to sort of um, get your feet wet, and it will be skewed a little bit towards electrical and electronics kinds of applications, right, and fitting with uh, the whole theme of, of this channel. So the first thing is we're going to need some kind of uh, book, perhaps, to uh, follow through on this to get more detail. So go to my college webpage over here, Mohawk Valley Community College. Um, that's mvcc.edu slash jfiori. And this is the landing page. So just click on my free books link. And we have a whole bunch of free open educational resource texts that I've written. Um, if we scroll down a little bit further, you can find this book, Python for Everybody. This is written by Dr. Charles Severance, and it's available in many, many different forms in different languages. So here's Python for Everybody, right? Exploring Data in Python 3. This takes you off to Amazon for a paperback, right? Under $10. We also have free PDF, HTML, uh, EPUB formats. So here's the PDF. And uh, we're going to be looking at a chunk of this, but not all of it. Okay. So pretty nice little book. And we also have a laboratory manual. So this is a series of, of exercises that you can follow through. So these, uh, again, you can go to... Uh, Amazon here and get a print version, relatively inexpensive. Or again, we have a free PDF and a free open document text. Click on the PDF here. So here's a bunch of labs. And up front, there's a couple labs here on how to use Multisim and Tina, the uh, circuit simulators. So you might have an interest in that, but the rest of this is just dealing with Python, different sorts of things. You know, um, input statements, conditionals, if-else statements, um, generating random numbers, how to loop, for loops, while loops, things like that. Um, using sequences, that's tuples and lists, and functions and files. All right, so there's a bunch of things of interest there. Um, we're going to need Python itself, and for that we can go to python.org, right, python.org. So here is the site. And you can download this for a variety of different platforms, Windows, Mac, Linux, and so forth. Um, just go to the downloads here. Oops. So if you just click on this, a little window pops open. Um, you can just save this file, this executable installer. And then once it's saved, just click on it, run it, in other words, and it'll install Python on your machine. And then you'll be ready to roll. Okay, so what we are going to do next time around is uh, sort of introduce the software, how to navigate through the integrated development environment, the IDE, some very basic foundational building blocks, data types, and things like that, and we will go from there. All right? Okay, see you then.